from Jeanette Zimba. Romans 6 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus our Lord, we are living in the last days, and it is the devil's desire to corrupt humans. Remember what Jesus said about the devil. The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It is not God's desire that anyone should be lost. Remember what the word of God says about hell, that it was made for the devil and his angels, not for humans. Romans 6 verse 23, God has pronounced that the penalty of sin is spiritual death and separation from God in a place of judgment called hell, for the wages of sin is death. Church, my job was to destroy the children of God. Because now we want to end this generation that will say God is holy mm. and people mm. must follow the devil. So we don't fight with people that are not inside the, the, the presence of God because already the devil knows these are mine. Yeah. You know? So, so your we, we, are these we, ones. yes, we want to target these ones that have the truth in them. And now, so we don't need anyone actually to be with this God. So we have to make sure that we, we, we destroy. So those were obvious things. So we were actually inside the church where they call God. But wasn't it difficult for you then to get into that because of the spiritual covering that's there and because of God's presence in those spaces? Um, how did you see? How did you find a loophole? A loophole. So, so that says, <laughs> Yes, uh, I usually when I say it's uh, a church without worshippers and intercessors, mm. it's, it's just a church. It's a I, I, yes, I, I always say worshippers are like the paint in the walls. They make the church wow. And intercessors are actually the walls that has hold the church. Mm. Now, we look at the two groups before. Remember, we don't just go to church and attack. Mm -mm. You spy the church for years. Because, yes, we will send devil worshippers that will go there. But we are going to never cease for that church to be destroyed. So now we look at the worshippers and intercessors. Because those two groups are the people that are very close with the pastor. Intercessors, they pray. They went there and pray for the church. What are they planting? They are planting Wuti. The Spirit of God has to move in the church in the when the people of God come. Now, worshippers are standing or sharing the altar with the men or the women of God. Now, we are going to attack them. It's either Gubane Jelasi in the team, this one sings better than that one. Abantubayas, Tandanela, they're dating by the time the conflict is not even them, the worshippers, it's just the enemy. It's the enemy. And the enemy, that's a loophole. Yes. Okay. yes. And once we, we find one worshipper or one intercessor, Abangeko in right standing with God, mm. like being prayerful. Utola Gutsu Mundu Pilagai too. Mara Sontweni, I'm holy. Yes, when I'm home, I'm, I'm I living. I live a different life. Yes, you're actually a dangerous person to be part of the leadership because now mm. for us to get the pastor, mm. remember yeah, we can't. Yes, we can't face the pastor. We need you who is standing before be, be, uh, before him or rather uh, at the back mm -hmm. of the pastor to destroy the church. That's why you find many churches are being closed. Not because pastors are not powerful. There is no pastor that is called Come on now. Do you understand? But now we are using people around them. If we can't get him or her with a family, we're going to use people or children spiritually to get actually that pastor. So what do we do when we hear such kind of messages or these kind of messages? Ladies and gentlemen, you should never tire to pray because God answers prayers. When God gives a word through his prophets, it is necessary for us to engage in prayer, intercession. Remember what the word of God says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man prevails very much and it causes power available dynamic in its working and able to cause changes in the earth so never underestimate the power of prayer god answers prayers my greatest desire is that your life never remains the same that god lifts you from wherever you are and sets you on high always remember that god loves you and that you are special to him ladies and gentlemen 
I hope you have learned something today and you have been inspired. Keep living by faith and enjoying your life. Till we meet again next time, it's bye bye for now.